So now we can start working on the suspension. Now the suspension is the area of the go-kart between your frame and the tire. It usually consists of a couple bars. We're going to have a bar right here and it also consists of something called a strut or a spring. So those are the two main pieces and then of course that is how your frame attaches to the tire. Now the reason that you don't want to attach your frame directly to the tire and you need this thing called suspension is because it pretty much acts as an absorber. So whenever you're riding over bumps, it, it not only helps protect your frame from getting beat up, but it gives the passenger and the driver a nice smooth ride. So let me go ahead and show you guys how to add suspension. So we're gonna work with a double arm system, which is pretty much two pivoting arms right here, and they connect to the frame like this. First on all of these, you have a little bearing which is like a little pipe, it slides in. And let me go ahead and slide the other one in right now. So I have both of my bearings in here. And I'll go ahead and slide them into place. See if I can get it lined up and bolt it through. All right, there's one. Once you have one in, the other one goes in rather easy. All right, there we go. So right now, it just kind of sags there. Doesn't really do a whole lot. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put another arm on up here, and then we're gonna connect both of these arms to something called a steering knuckle, and that knuckle is gonna connect to the tire. So there are a lot of parts to uh, put on involving your suspension, but it's definitely worth it. It's not something that you wanna overlook and skip. So there's one arm right there, and now what we need to do is we need to go ahead and add the other arm. So go ahead and grab that, and adding this is the exact same. Go ahead and put your bearings in. Now go ahead and put one bolt in first. There's the other one. Now go ahead and tighten these up and then we can add our steering knuckle. So now that we got our suspension arms in, we can now install the steering knuckle. Now, if you don't know why you need a steering knuckle, the reason that you don't want to bolt your tire or wheel right onto these arms is because these arms only allow padding up and down. Whenever you hit a bump, what's going to happen instead of jolting your frame? These arms are going to sway up and down, padding your ride. Now, again, like I said, these only go up and down. They don't go left and right. So if you put the tire on right now, you go straight the entire time. So that's why you need a steering knuckle. What a steering knuckle does is it allows you to turn the tire left and right. And this right here is actually where your steering is going to hook up to. So then it's going to pull this way or this way allowing you to steer the go-kart left and right. So this is really easy to put on. Just go ahead and make sure they're bracketed in place. It takes one bolt on top. Right there, and a bolt on bottom. Now the bolt on bottom uses a regular washer, a lock washer, and then a nut. So we're gonna put those on. Washer, lock washer, nut. All right, so now our main suspension system is pretty much complete. The only other thing we need to do is hook up something called a strut, and we'll do that in the next video. But now, check it out. Whenever we hit a bump, we can now go up and down, and also whenever we hook up the steering, our wheel can now turn left and right. So this is much, a much better system than bolting the wheel directly onto the frame, because then you're gonna have a wheel that takes all the absorption, all the bumps, and it's gonna damage your frame, and also, you probably want to be able to steer your go-kart. So now that we're done with this, like I said, in the next video, we're going to be covering the strut.